Greetings! I've missed you so much. It's been way too long. How long has it been? Anyways, I've been cleaning my closet. Come with, come with. It's honestly... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. A sight to behold. It is so organized. That's my sangria, ignore that. Ew. So organized, it makes me very happy. But anyways, to the video. So because I've been cleaning, donating, selling things, um, I've been looking at my room and there's a lot of wood. I'm so sorry. This is beautiful. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. That, not so much. I decided to paint this the same color as my walls because I still have that paint and I thought it would like disappear and be, I don't know. But let's do it together. Thank you so much for this, by the way. That's weird. reading <laughs> let's take her outside okay so let us set up <laughs> there are so many dead june bugs I don't know why I'm surprised. We're literally in East Texas. Anywho, cleaning her up. There's. I think someone just shot an armadillo. Like 10 of them. <laughs> All right, time to prime. I wish this was sponsored by Prime. They keep sending me drinks, so. No? Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to open this. So I have a spa, this is not a spatula. This is one of those like, soil spoons. This is the only time in my life you'll ever hear me wish for a man. Mom! Let's call my dad. He's elk hunting, but he'll make time for me. He left me on voicemail? Oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, independent woman, let's YouTube. How to open, open a door? That's the first thing that pops up. Do y'all not know how to open a door? Because same. Oh, I think I Googled that. They have tutorials. Wait, you have to scoop? Oh, it's a woman. The feminism has returned to my body. Hey y'all, Morgan from Charleston Crafted here and I'm gonna show you the easiest and cleanest way to open up a paint can. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. Push down on the handle and up on the end and you're gonna be separating the lid. Just work your way around the can. easy it's not um, I probably should not have grabbed this soil spatula I have brought my dog hey Bubba um, mommy's trying to be an adult <gasps> wait this is working I did something right okay bye did my dog just have an asthma attack so I got this dresser when I went off to school. My family literally got it for me at Walmart and it's so good. The directions, I didn't read the directions. Should I have read the directions? It's fast drying. So we need to apply this quickly. Do I have to be thorough? I like how I'm asking you questions like you can answer right away. <gasps> no, it's doing weird things. Why is it doing weird things? Oh, there's hair. 
Oh, it's from the bristles of the brush. Shizzle whiz. Okay, I posted on my story that if y'all had any questions, I would answer it in a video. So let's see what y'all have been asking. How do I do that? If you had to choose only one makeup product, which one? Oh, uh, no. I feel like I would either choose eyebrow gel or concealer. I've got a lot to conceal. <laughs> so I've got a lot going on. Anyways, this is not a question. Mm, marry me. Let's have a Halloween wedding. How old are you? Um, favorite cuisine. Does that mean food? Let me Google. I misspelled cuisine. A style or method of cooking. Um, Mexican food. Y'all, they just know how to do it. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve, because I'm such a clean freak, is when someone's messy, um, any type of mess, it doesn't matter. That's something that I've honestly have always struggled with is being a perfectionist and a control freak and a clean freak. Like right now I'm having a little mini seizure in my heart because the strokes aren't even and there's literally these bristles stuck. Do you want to see? Advice for not feeling good, smart enough, and like you're behind. Oh, I'm super qualified for this because I was held back. Yeah, I was held back in kindergarten because I had no friends. And I also never went to school because I didn't want to. And I graduated high school when I was 19. So a lot of people thought I was stupid. I think educating yourself is important. It's always great to grow and learn. But at the end of the day, the people whose personality is I'm super smart and intelligent are really annoying. Is that me? The people in my class who are known for being like really, really smart were really mean and kind of boring. Why would you want to be that? Yeah, people might have thought I was dumb, but I was really fun. And now I have a cool job and an amazing life. You just have to focus on what you are good at. For me, it was definitely like ballet and theater and just being super creative. And those traits are usually undervalued in school. I think it's really easy when you're super young to get caught up in what people think about you and what they say about you. And you're like, oh, that's who I am. But it's not like, how would they know who you are? They don't have the privilege of being in your presence because they're too full of themselves. And they're not even that great. How are you? Good. <laughs> Do you have any tips and tricks for new makeup users? So my biggest tip is less is more. Girl, when I look back at pictures of me, I wish more than anything I could go back in time and tell little Gabrielle, stop over plucking her eyebrows and overfilling them. Just, God gave you more hair than potential rock it just leave them be get clear gel but at the end of the day it's like okay i had crazy makeup big deal i was still a cutie patootie my advice is less is more but if you want to do more just do it because you'll learn you'll have fun you're expressing yourself who cares what anyone thinks when i say that to you i'm also saying that to me oh and wear sunscreen next question are you dating no but i have a therapist is the fabulous aunt based on someone no so the aunt is someone that i wish i had growing up and it's also someone that um, i want to be when my sisters have kids he's so cute he just burped by the way he does that <laughs> Okay, right now I'm going in and like, do you see that? I'm plucking all of the bristles out and there's so many freaking bristles. How do people do things? Like I could take a very basic thing like riding a bike and butcher that. We've only primed. We haven't even painted. Darcy, what are you eating? Do not eat a June bug. 
you behaving? No? Yeah, because I raised you. Can you do a room tour or a clean my room with me video? Yes! Darcy, what are you eating? Oh, no, no! He's eating June bugs. No, no, Darcy, do not eat that. That is a bug. This year I'm going to New York for Halloween. I'm so excited because Halloween is my favorite holiday and I hear New York goes full out, so. Look out. Where'd my phone go? Do you like the new Mean Girl Do Revenge? I don't like Mean Girls, but I love revenge. How can you live with yourself when you're so amazing? I needed that. Thank you. <gasps> Taylor Swift or Lana Del Rey? Taylor Swift. How's life? Did you get the part you are? Obviously not. <laughs> Did you get the part that you auditioned for? I am still getting callbacks. So I will keep you posted on the journey. It's honestly just a learning experience. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Either way, it's super fun and I'm super grateful. Favorite Vampire Diaries character? Honestly, it depends. I feel like, okay, can I, can I have a Vampire Diaries ramp? Thank you. I feel like everyone hates on Elena, but I feel so bad for her, like so bad for her. She's this 17 year old girl who is experiencing like, you know, hormones and these two hot vampire brothers are fighting over her because she looks like the love of their life, which is super creepy and they're both like 150 years old. And she's like, oh my gosh, like someone loves me and she just lost her parents. Then all these crazy things happen to her and like her brother dies and her aunt and like her aunt's boyfriend, AKA her history teacher dies. Like all these people are literally dying because these vampire brothers came into town and they're like, pick one of us, pick one of us. What do you mean you're attracted to my brother? You're supposed to be attracted to me. Um, you were just the ripper. Like you were ripping heads off. She can be in a dilemma. I'm protective of Elena. I am, I'm sorry, I am. I just feel like people hate on her and are like, everyone is like off to save her life and she doesn't do anything. Yeah, cause she's human. She's a 17 year old girl. Let the boys do the work. They're the ones that got her into this mess. So I think my favorite character is probably Elena. I know people are gonna be like, give me, give me, give me. I mean, if like hot vampire brothers were fighting over me, honestly, I wouldn't choose. I know that sounds bad and it is bad because they're like, it's gross, they're brothers. I could not imagine sharing anyone with my sisters, but hear me out, okay? They're vampires, they're hot. Okay, I really need to finish this up. See how bad that is? And <laughs> it's really bad. Once I finish that, we will hopefully paint it green and catch up. Here we go. <sighs> I don't know if I did it right. Because I'm pretty sure, sorry, I just slapped my bosom, that the point is to be like consistent and smooth. And that's not this. So I had a spud for my calisters, and I'm gonna bathe. And then tomorrow, we'll worry about this. That's what I do with all my problems. We'll just put it on the shelf, and we'll take care of it another day. Hi, um, it's the next day. Definitely slept in. Anyways, I need my coffee. And my phone. Boop. Okay, so this paint was used to paint my room. It's almost 10 years. No, it's not. Wow, I cannot do math. It's 2006. This was 2016, right? And it's um 2022, so that's six years. Oh my gosh, I opened something without my dad. Okay, let's begin. I'm honestly super excited. I know I don't seem very excited, but I... Oh, this is a lovely color. It's literally the color of my room. I don't know why I act surprised. I have not been sleeping because I, like, have to fall asleep listening to music because I get, like, really anxious at night for some reason. 
but that literally keeps my brain awake and I already have issues shutting off. Do I paint on my, I literally have paint on my camera. So I don't fall asleep until like three and I've been waking up past 10, like close to 11 and that's not good for you and it makes you feel really bad. That's the only upside, obviously like I'm very privileged. I love my job, but that's the one thing is like, you are your own boss and you make your own schedule and I need to work on being more responsible. I don't know, like a schedule or something in the morning, like maybe go bicycle. Wait, bicycle, spin? Because I literally feel like I'm dead. Do you see me? Look at my under eyes. I can't even keep my eyes open. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this is a gorgeous color. <laughs> my coffee hasn't kicked in yet, so I look. <laughs> I do have a few questions left on my story. Are you a cat or a dog person? Cat. No, dog. This is why I need coffee. Is there a bug in here? I'm a dog person. Um, someone commented your mom. Do you have a good relationship with yours? Because I have a great relationship with your mom. Would you consider your fans your besties? Yeah, I don't consider y'all fans. It sounds really... <sighs> Sorry, that was a bug. I don't consider y'all fans. I think that's really, it's a weird thing to say. No, y'all are definitely my friends that just follow me because you want to keep up with what I'm creating or my life. We're all in this together. I love you. I love you. But I probably love you more. Do you have a crush? So here's the thing about me. I have a lot of like celebrity or fictional crushes, absolutely. But when it comes to people, no. It takes me a long time to like someone. It's really hard for me to open up. It's really hard for me to connect on a deeper level. Connecting with people that's super hard. So like romantically, that's just like not an option. I'm definitely love avoidant. Attachments, having crushes like on like a real person, like a dude. That never happens. What would you say to your younger self? Stop over plucking your eyebrows and go to therapy. I'm impressed. How are you? My makeup always looks gaudy. Oh, I love that. Please help. Oh, okay. Girl, be gaudy. That's cute. I do have a makeup tutorial up on my YouTube. Why do you keep that photo as your profile picture? Um, because it's iconic. Because it's iconic. That's I've never looked better. You should wear less makeup. Uh-uh. Honey, you should stop talking. Do you have a diet? No, diets don't work. Just have like a balanced, healthy lifestyle. Stay active. Throw in some veggies here and there. But like, if you want a vodka soda and a bag of potato chips, do it. So clearly I'm not a nutritionist. How many boyfriends have you had? <sighs> Too many. Are you insane? Yes. Some of these questions are kind of mean. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just going to finish this part and then I'll get back to you and show you. I'm almost done. I'm co literally all covered in paint. Um, so I'm gonna have to like bathe or something. So let's wrap this up. I just have this one section left, which is good because I'm almost out of paint honestly the paint itself like in terms of my job not that bad definitely uneven I'm a messy painter but do you like the color please tell me yes because this was a lot of work <laughs> it's so messy up here also this isn't my house I'm a long-term guest at my parents house a bug flew into the paint and died and it felt weird watching that and not being able to do anything.
Honestly, y'all, I feel like this looks so good. I'm super happy with it. I feel like painting really helped because I woke up in just not the greatest mindset and I feel super relaxed. I feel like I just had therapy and I was super motivated after painting an entire bookshelf that I got blood work finally, which I have to do. And I was supposed to do a long time ago. So, so if you have, oh my God, it's a wasp. I'm, I'm highly allergic. Oh my God, and it's looking at me. No, no, uh, I killed you last summer. He doesn't want you to see. <gasps> hey Gabrielle, you're so dramatic. I could literally, quite literally die. Anywho, the moral of the story is, you got free time, you need a hobby, find something in your room and just spice it up. I feel like in another life, I would have been an interior designer. Not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. It just, oh my gosh, it just brightens the space. Like, the way my mind works can be scary, right? But this, chef's kiss. Okay, but let me put everything on the shelf and then I'll show you the final results. I'm like, okay, okay. Here it is. In all of her glory, she is done, she is fresh, she is glorious. This shelf is dedicated to all of my beautiful books. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so grateful for you. And thank you for, well, you didn't do this, but you did something. You sent questions and I answered them. I'm gonna go admire just my glory and me. Thank you so much, bye. Mwah.